Federal Reserve has three main tools to execute monetary policy, open market operations, reserve requirements, and the discount rate. And all three are used to affect the money supply, which in turn affects economic activity. The Fed can expand the money supply through the purchase and sale of U.S. government securities, such as Treasury bills. A Treasury bill is a security issued by the U.S. Treasury Department, representing a short-term debt obligation with a relatively low interest rate, but a maturity period of less than one year. The process through which the Federal Reserve buys and sells Treasury bills to expand or contract the money supply is known as an open market operation. Open market operations add to the money supply in a multi-step process. The Fed will draw a check on itself to purchase a predetermined number of T-bills. Although no single bank may be holding all of the securities that are to be purchased, the overall amount created is still entered into the banking system. This additional money can then be loaned to other banks and turned into loans. The Fed may reduce the money supply by selling government securities to dealers. Such sales remove from circulation the amount paid to the Fed, thus decreasing the amount of excess reserves held by the banks and contracting the size of the money supply. The second tool at the Fed's disposal is changing the reserve requirements. If reserve requirements are raised, banks will need to hold a greater amount in reserves and the money supply would fall. If reserve requirements were lowered, banks will be required to hold less cash in vaults or on deposits at the Federal Reserve. Small changes to the reserve requirement are made every year, but large changes are rarely executed because the result would be very disruptive to the economy. If a bank has insufficient reserves, it can borrow funds from another bank with excess reserves. The interest rate on these loans is called the federal funds rate, or the rate charged for loans of excess reserves between banks to meet reserve requirements. In turn, the federal funds rate influences most of the other interest rates lenders charge. The Federal Reserve uses open market operations to target the federal funds rate. By purchasing securities, the Federal Reserve increases the cash available to commercial banks. This will lower the federal funds rate because banks' excess reserves will be higher and thus fewer banks will need to borrow. The third tool the Federal Reserve uses to affect the money supply is its direct control over the discount rate. The discount rate is the interest rate at which institutions can borrow money directly from the central bank usually on a short-term basis, to meet temporary shortages of reserves. If the Federal Reserve raises the discount rate, the money supply will fall and market interest rates will rise because banks will reduce their borrowing and potentially call in loans to increase reserves.